I think we need to do better in terms of clinical trials in the community as well. And the reason why I bring that up, anything what we have right now, that standard of care was part of a clinical trial once, right? That is how we got where we are. These were experimental medications. And now this is approved. So someone who got exposed to a clinical trial early on got exposed to a potential life-changing treatment early on. So I really think that in the community, we need to do a tad bit better. Clinical trials are more focused now. We've seen this across solid tumors. There are so many agnostic approvals. We've seen that with BRAF. We've seen that with NTRAC. We've seen immunotherapy in almost every disease site, like you've pointed out. So I, again, really think that as community oncologists, we need to be more proactive. I very well understand and appreciate that we're doing a lot. So there are a lot more hurdles to cross to get our patients on board, but it is something that we should continue to look out for in the community. Clinical trials, I tend to tell these patients, these are something that you can ha avail them today, which is going to be approved five years down the road. So, and now when these, these patients do uh, get tied up with these clinical trials, they get so much more support with such rigorous uh, lab checking and everything with the patient advocates, supportive management. So I think it is all around a very good plan. So, but again, patients uh, have to be informed about this, educated about this, so they can be tied up with appropriate tertiary care center and the appropriate care can be provided.